So good evening everyone. So I am Dr. Naveel Porwar, your physiology educator on an academy platform. So there is a good news from for everyone those who are preparing for NEET, PG or FMG that uh, an academy is bringing iconic subscription. Okay. In this you will get benefit of recorded session of prep letter as well as live lectures of an academy. So you are getting both together. So in prep letter there is video lectures, there is question back, there is rapid revision courses like that and in an academy there are plenty of courses going on every day for every subject. So you are getting benefit of both I mean recorded lecture as well as live lecture okay and this is the subscription cost and all and if you put code uh, you can put npg10 or you can pay, put dr naveen 10 dr -N -A -V -E -E -N 10 in both case you will get discount for that so coming to the lecture the image base nowadays scenario has been totally changed and a lot of images are asked in your examination be it be need pg as well as fmg so in both a lot of images and a lot of I mean, concept based clinical question has asked so there's a need to i mean change the pattern how to study although we know about the subject but because we have not seen those images those diagrams from the standard textbook okay we cannot answer good evening good evening Ravarma. good evening okay so can anyone tell me uh, because this image was asked I mean, last year only so can anyone tell me uh, what do you think which image is a1 a just by looking in this diagram can you tell me which is a which, which cell is this a okay let me zoom that so that you can see it more properly what is b you know almost everything about every cell but they are focusing on this electron microscopic view and all those view and they are more focusing on the clinical side so we should be very aware of the cells what are the function what are the anatomical location what are the physiological function as well as we can recognize those particular cell so uh, this question was asked last year i mean this year need to be 2020 only and because this question was asked and these all diagram is from almost same site so I hope that any other cell can also be asked. So those who have appeared for need PG 2020 may have focused this cell. Yes, uh, uh, Mr. Abhinay Parkinje, wonderful, very good. So that's very nice that you are able to recognize this cell, Parkinje cell. Excellent. I will discuss about Parkinje cell, but this is Parkinje cell. Do you remember Parkinje cell? The only output of cerebellum. Do you remember Parkinje cell, the only, I mean, output of cerebellum? Okay, this year FMG, in FMG also, lot of images were there. So you must be prepared of at least the most common thing which they are expecting. Okay, now anyone can tell me the image B. Image B. I will tell you after that, but uh, let me see how many of you are correct. Don't hesitate, just answer. Let me see how many are you your guess is correct because in examination also you are not very sure about the images but you have to I mean pseudo unipolar okay retinal okay these are given in your common books standard textbook that is why I mean reading of the standard textbook is at least those diagram and those images and these are very important yes all these are neuron but let me tell you all these are neuron okay let me tell you this is a pyramidal cell do you remember we discussed about the motor tract and we have discussed about the pyramidal cell these are the pyramidal cell okay i will discuss in detail also okay can you tell me the third one c which is just c Most of these are from cerebellum as well as retina also, but uh, it is inhibitory cell. It is an inhibitory cell. I am giving, giving you a hint. Uh, it is an inhibitory cell in the cerebellum.
these are typical pyramidal cells these are typical pyramidal cells but these are yes let me tell you then i will discuss the anyone okay let me tell you golgi cell do you remember inhibitory cells of cerebellum these are golgi cell okay i will tell you i have written those also what is this one which is the only excitatory cell in the cerebellum can you tell me the only excitatory cell in the cerebellum so this was asked stellate was yes stellate was also inhibitory very good so you know that there are three inhibitory cells in cerebellum one is star shaped other is basket shaped and other is golgi shaped golgi cell which is the only excitatory yes very good granular is the only excitatory and this is your granular cell this is your granular cell okay can anyone tell me this do you remember the nucleus of the cerebellum when all i mean converge and then they enter inside the afferent of the afferent of cerebellum when all fiber converge in the medulla and then they go inside and they supply only to one purkinje cell they supply only to one purkinje cell which nucleus is that in the medulla okay let me tell you inferior olivary nucleus where it is it is inferior where should i write inferior olivary nucleus now this is very easy this can come definitely in your examination this we have discussed just now in special class yesterday also climbing was coming from all places but they are going from all other places also but from inferior olivary nucleus all are converge okay but they directly go i mean they are climbing with very good not mossy climbing fiber very good very good they are from they are climbing fiber from inferior olivary nucleus they are climbing fiber very good now can you recognize these cell these these are very i mean very typical of cell you might be able to recognize these cell these are very very characteristic and you can recognize just by shape of the cell yes very good bipolar cell excellent very good bipolar cell so this this can come in your examination and if, and if you remember in very i mean recently in some uh, class i think it was a special class we were discussed about retina there was bipolar cell there also okay so at least you should i mean recognize because you know almost everything you know if you remember the cerebellum if you remember cerebellum you must that these are three layer of cerebellum there were three layers of cerebellum what were three layers of cerebellum one was purkinje okay, let me make it purkinje layer other was molecular layer and third was granular layer okay so that was granular cell the cell i have shown you that was granular cell that was supplying to lot of purkinje cell yes retinal bipolar one or very good and bipolar regarding bipolar you know that in the retina there are bipolar cell they are very very characteristic and they they connect with cell together these bipolar cells are connecting with cell together do you remember we have discussed this granular molecular purkinje very good so these bipolar bipolar cells are going to connect with cell yes can anyone tell me about that bipolar cells ganglia very good excellent so they can connect ganglion cell with rod and cone very good so these are very characteristic you can say they are very beautiful if you look into the cells they are very beautiful so nowadays examiners are very i mean peculiar they want you to recognize some of the important and these all are from only one site okay and got this was asked latest examination if they can expect this cell so they they can expect all these cell 
ओके सो आई होप यू कैन रिकोगनाइज नाउ परकिंजे सेल पिरामिडल सेल देन गॉलगी सेल ग्रेनुलर सेल एंड दिस इज योर इन्फीरियर ओलिवरी न्यूक्लियस एंड दिस इज योर बाईपोलर न्यूक्लियस सो आई होप नाउ यू कैन रिकोगनाइज दीज ऑल इमेजेस रेस्ट इन थेरी वी ऑल नो डिटेल लॉट ऑफ टाइम वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट दीज सेल एंड वॉट आर द रोल्स एंड ऑल दो थिंग्स टूडे आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू डिस्कस दो थिंग्स टूडे माई फोकस इज ओनली to tell you what is the new pattern of your examination and what they are expecting because sometimes you know the answer but because you are not aware of those things okay so good very good everyone now parkinje and golgi some all looks same let me see parkinje and golgi yes you <laughs> you are saying parkinje and golgi look same but they are quite different okay so you you have to because whenever they will give you an examination that will be from a standard book so they will give you the exact image they will give you the exact image so by practice you can recognize that okay abhinay you are you are correct that they are uh, morphologically they are looking almost same but they are different okay now tell me if uh, if they give answers i have already given <laughs> i have already written what cell is that so my purpose here is that the same tear drop shape yeah you are correct the my purpose of here is that you know about these superficial mechano receptor these are neuro receptor we have all discussed a lot a lot we have discussed but here my purpose is not to discuss the receptor purpose that you are recognizing it or not if they are like onion if they are looking like onion onion shape okay so remember onion pacinian onion means onion shape is pacinian can you tell me something more about pacinian one thing is morphologically they look like onion onion peel appearance okay can you tell me something else about that pacinian okay let me tell you the okay let me ask you these are rapidly adapting or these are i mean uh, slowly adapting these cells are uh, i mean rapid adapting or slowly so let me tell you these are uh, fast adapting very good they are rapid adapting number 1 very good what else you remember about that these are rapid adapting that's wonderful what else you can recognize because now you have to remember images also vibration very good these are i mean these are for vibration that much you remember this is good okay now what about meesner's copsel meesner's copsels are also rapid adapting if you remember our theory class these are also your these are rapid adapting receptor these are also rapid adapting receptor very good and these are for what these are for touch texture these are for texture or topognosis topognosis and they sense the velocity that is why when you want to feel something you have to move your finger like that and they are present in the non hairy portion of the body of course they are these are rapidly adapting meesner's copsel and these are for texture and topognosis so you must recognize this look like that i will tell you everything what whatever can be asked regarding that and this is a high yielding topic every year you are getting question from that good okay what about merkel merkel what about merkel disc they look like keel merkel keel in hindi we say keel and they also work like keel they look like keel and they work like keel i used to remember like this they work like keel and they also look like keel as if they are so they are they are for two point discrimination also so you can say they are like keel so they are for two point discrimination it will be easy to remember and uh, they are rapid adapting or they are slow adapting see only two are rapid adapting and these two are slow adapting so merkel will be they look like keel if someone is putting a keel like that okay you will not get adapted easily you will get slowly adapted isn't it so they are 
स्लो एडेप्टिंग दे आर स्लो एडेप्टिंग ओके एंड सी मर्कल एंड मीजनस दे बिहेव सिमिलरली फॉर टच बट वन इज रैपिड एडेप्टिंग अदर इज स्लोली एडेप्टिंग एंड देर इज अ फॉर ब्लाइंड यू मस्ट बी नोइंग अबाउट द ब्रेल मेथड देर इज अ ब्रेल मेथड फॉर आई मीन ब्लाइंड पर्सन सो बोथ आर इन्वॉल्व फोर्स बिकॉज बोथ आर इन्वॉल्व फॉर टच बट फॉर ब्रेल मेथड विच इज मोर इन्वॉल्व यस फॉर ब्रेल मेथड इन्वॉल्वमेंट इज मोर ऑफ वॉट रफनी आई मीन मर्कल और मीजनस Yes. What do you think? Merkel, yeah, Merkel. Of course, both can be the answer. But if both are given, then you will apply. I mean, I will. You will opt for Merkel. Yeah. Even more than Meisner's Copsel. Okay. After that, uh, after that, who will tell me about Rafni? Rafni. What about roughly ending? What do you remember about roughly ending? I used to remember like rough handling. If someone do rough handling, put stress, put constant pressure, then your roughly are activated. So I used to remember, and you can also, if you want, remember like that rough handling. It means it can be stretch. It can be activated by stretch. It can be activated also by constant pressure. as well as if you are sensing something by deep pressure i mean what is that the grip of your hand it is also by roughly handling so these are the question which can be asked one thing more can be asked that among all these four which one of them are superficial and which one is deep which one is superficial and which one is deep you can see over here you can see over here which one is superficial M M, it can be remembered by M M, Meisner's, Meisner's and Merkel. Otherwise, Ruff, Ruffney and Pacinians. Pacinians, you can see it deepest. You can remember it. It is deepest. So you have to remember this diagram as well as. Okay, so not only the function of the cell, not only the recognition of the cell, but you have to remember. Location of the cell. M M Meisner's and Merkel. Meisner's is rapid adapting. Merkel is slow adapting. Pacinian is rapid adapting. Ruffney is slow adapting. And beside that, you can also have hair and nerve fiber as well as free nerve endings. So I hope you can recognize these now. After that, you can take a screenshot or you can just open your books. and look for that okay so this the question number 3 is very easy question it's very easy question they can give you that image and they can ask you this phenomena this physiological phenomena is occurring in which cell of your body this physiological phenomena and this very i mean if you have lot of time this has been discussed in an academy platform also lot of time we have discussed just by looking at this diagram you can uh, easily say that what is that so they are also testing that you are opening for books or not <laughs> yes very good so what see retina has seven cell abhinay retina has seven cells rod cones i mean bipolar cell horizontal cell amacrine cell the muller cell thanks christopher thanks a lot okay so you can say option will be like rod rods option will be like bipolar cell option will be of course these all are from retina only ganglion cell and option can be amacrine cell so you very clearly know if you have attended all the lecture or if you open the books 
that these are rod you can you can appreciate that when light fall on the rod or cones okay now tell tell me what are the i mean what are the phenomena let me tell you let me make the diagram in the line diagram so that you can understand okay, this is not good diagram i cannot make straight lines you know okay this is cyclic gmp dependent just tell me please which channel sodium or potassium sodium isn't it sodium channels and sodium keep on coming inside sodium keep on coming inside this is happening in the dark this is happening in the dark and this sodium causes depolarization but what happened in light what happened in light if you appreciate in light cis retinol is converted into trans retinol cis retinol is converted into trans and that is going to activate transducin which will activate phosphodiesterase and that will convert cyclic gmp into gmp so now this will be closed and sodium will not come and this is the only cell which when activated cause hyperpolarization now you can appreciate again when light falls on the rods and cones okay cis will convert into trans and it will form transducin which will activate phosphodiesterase and phosphodiesterase will convert cyclic gmp into gmp so now cyclic gmp dependent yes very good akshay very good cyclic gmp dependent sodium channel will close and now instead of depolarization there will be hyperpolarization so lot of questions are asked like that dark sodium current are present in dark because of depolarization but when light falls this is a exception when light falls okay sodium channels will close and instead of causing depolarization due to sodium now sodium cannot come inside and they can cause hyperpolarization isn't it so when there is hyperpolarization release of neurotransmitter will be more or less what do you think release of neurotransmitter will be less initially it was more and this less release will transmitted to the ganglion cell and ganglion cells are the only cell of the retina which can produce action potential that the only cells of the retina which can produce action potential and these are not just they are just axon of the optic nerve these are axon of the optic nerve isn't it so in this all theory you know i know that you are nowadays see the future generation is always better and better we we in the first year second year we don't need to study such a deep but now students are very good now doctors are going in much detail and that is why standard of your examination is keep on going more and more so you have to be i mean more clinical and we are there to help you in an academy also you can see lot of clinical question i mean questions are there every day we are uh, we are taking clinical mcq today also at 10 from 10 to 12 we will discuss today cardio clinical question so you can join also on an academy okay so i hope this is clear to everyone now this everyone can recognize this diagram this is i mean regulation of gfr this is regulation of gfr and uh, there is i mean for last 5 year there is no exam in which some or other it could, this question has been asked in some form or other form other assertion reason in november aims 2019 it was asked in the form of assertion and reasoning so these four conditions are very very important for you so you can you can note in condition number 1 what is happening and why it is happening who is causing that who is causing that you can see that it is afferent arteriole it is afferent arteriole so who is causing constriction of afferent arteriole and what are the things which can happen it was also asked in all india nit pg examination 2017 question was that in hypovolemic shock what will happen and answer was that constriction of afferent arteriole constriction of afferent arteriole so that you can divert your blood going to the kidney to the brain and to the heart so it is caused by number 1 it is caused by hypovolemic shock by nor epinephrine by nor epinephrine and what will happen 
if you are i mean constricting the efferent arteriole both will be less gfr will be less as well as renal i mean plasma flow or blood flow both will be less so first scenario is very simple constriction of efferent arteriole is due to nor epinephrine okay and this is going to decrease your hydrostatic pressure as well as gfr as well as renal blood flow or you can say plasma flow second in second you can see there is constriction of efferent arteriole you can see there is constriction and this is very important this is one of the most important i don't know why but a lot of mcq are based on this constriction of efferent arteriole so can can anyone tell me all the features which are going to happen here although it is not given in the diagram but can you tell me if there is constriction of efferent arteriole what are the features that can happen over here it's very easy to understand number 1 number 1 they can be because there is constriction of efferent arteriole there can be increase hydrostatic pressure isn't it there will be increase you can see in the diagram also given there will be increase hydrostatic pressure and because and who is who is doing that it is done mainly by angiotensin 2 ras very good so because of increase height of course there will be increase glomerular filtration rate and whenever there is increase in the glomerular filtration rate okay it is only during mild constriction what about renal plasma flow or renal blood flow if there is constriction and the blood coming from here it will be reduced or it will be increased of course if there is constriction and blood is coming like that it will be reduced isn't it it will be reduced and because renal plasma flow or renal blood flow is reduced what do you think what do you think happen to gfr so gfr will keep on increasing or it will decrease after some time yes gfr first increase and then decrease due to decrease. very good so now you are very i mean things are at the tip of your tongue that's really very nice almost everyone is asking really very good that gfr will be reduced of course gfr will be reduced why due to decrease in the renal plasma flow after that what happened to filtration fraction what is filtration fraction yes due to back pressure very good filtration fraction is equal to gfr upon renal plasma flow gfr upon renal plasma flow and as we have discussed till now that initially gfr increases after some time only it will decrease but renal plasma flow always decreases from mild to moderate to severe okay in every condition during constriction of efferent arteriole okay renal plasma flow has to be decreased so what should be the net result that is why filtration fraction will always increase filtration fraction will always increase and if there is more filtration fraction there is more filtration you know proteins are not filtered you know proteins are not filtered so there will be accumulation of protein yes or no will there be accumulation of protein of course there will be accumulation of protein so oncotic pressure in the glomerular capillary oncotic pressure in the glomerular capillary that will be more less or i mean normal that will be more less or normal because there is accumulation of proteins and you know that proteins are there to increase oncotic pressure so that will be of course more so these all six has been asked in so many examination so you should be well aware of all these parameters so many time we have discussed but they can also be asked in the form of this diagram also okay now the the this you can see there is in this you can see there is constriction of efferent arteriole and what is this this is dilation of efferent arteriole so who can cause dilation of efferent arteriole as we have discussed earlier that constriction is called caused by angiotensin 2 so if constriction can be caused by angiotensin 2 so who will dilate of course arbs angiotensin receptor blocker if you block angiotensin receptor 
it can cause dilation of efferent arteriole isn't it and in that you will know that it will decrease your gfr and it will increase your renal blood flow it can decrease your gfr and it can increase your renal blood flow so these are good for your kidney why good for your kidney on one hand you are decreasing the i mean load of i mean working capacity of the kidney you are giving less work to the kidney and on the other hand you are increasing the blood supply oxygen supply so you are nourishing the kidney that is why arbs are excellent drug they are nephroprotective they are good they can be given in diabetic nephropathy also so they are good drugs in diabetes also because they decrease the gfr and they increase your renal plasma flow and the last but not the least you can see that there is dilation of efferent arteriole so what causes dilation of efferent arteriole what causes dilation of efferent arteriole you know that is prostaglandins prostaglandins and that can increase your gfr and that can also increase your renal blood flow it can increase your gfr of course and it can increase your renal blood flow and that is caused by prostaglandin that is why if you are using continuously nsaid or i mean painkillers they are going to damage our kidney by decreasing renal plasma flow and gfr so these are the few images i will not extend my class because today there are so many classes in series this is a ritual going on an anacademy so i will not extend and uh, today there is one more class on anacademy from 10 pm if you want to discuss clinical mcq you can join me today only today and tomorrow the study also i have take a class to get a class 10 pm to 12 pm so two hour class will be today only so if you can if you want to join you can join so thanks a lot for joining my class okay any doubt you can ask me and if you like this video just like it share with your colleague and thanks to everyone